Hey Mo, we need to get an intro down for this channel, you know. Yeah, but what are you thinking, Lee? Why don't I rap over the top of it? Don't be ridiculous, you sound like a northern M&M. Look, listen to me. Yo, yo, yo. The munch brunch in the hoose, man. Absolutely not. Right, what you got in mind? Let's just keep it simple. I'm Lee. I'm Aim. They wear the munch. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Muckband with Aim and Lee. We are the Munch Brunch UK. Lee, tell her what we have on the menu. Amo, it's in the title. It is a Chinese. Yeah. And we've not had one of these in probably about six weeks, give or take. Maybe longer, I don't know. Been that forever. Chicken chain, mate. I've egg got egg fries. fried rice. He's, Lee's got boiled rice. Chicken curry, chips, pork balls, and a spare rib. Spare rib. Uh, no, not pork balls. Chicken oh, balls. Thank God for that. Sweet and sour sauce. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Can I have a bit on your that's plate if you're not using it? Yeah. Bit of sweet and sour sauce. It is orange. I can't tip it any further because it's going to go everywhere. No, it'll literally go all out. And oh, you can leave it there. Some bread and butter. For any of you who've never seen one of our um, Chinese mukbangs before, I always have a bit of bread and butter. Back uh, with you. How you doing? Um, it's Saturday. Obviously, you're not watching this on Saturday because we ain't got time to upload it today. We'll be up in the next day or two. Um, we just smashed out a couple of videos in the last day or two. Hope you've enjoyed them. Yeah, hope you have. This one, because I'm gonna people like a, a takeaway video on a weekend. So he's gonna go out on Sunday, which is tomorrow. So the one you'll see on Tuesday should have gone out tomorrow, but we're gonna move that back a day or two. It's not relevant. There's no relevant. Nothing has happened in that video. You need to know about right away. No. It's just we figure you might prefer a Chinese over a weekend rather than midweek. <coughs> so how was your weekend? Did you have a good Halloween? Yeah, they might still be celebrating Well, it tonight. is Halloween tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, when you're watching this, it'll be Halloween. Um, <laughs> we went live last night. There were so many people. What are you doing for Halloween? Are you going to plans for Halloween? Uh, what are you doing? Are you going to a party for Halloween? I, like, I feel like we're missing out on something here, right? I think, like, the ones who want us to go live kind of want us to do, like, a Halloween theme. Yeah. Maybe. I didn't... Um, then I'm, because she got a bit drunk... Never. I ain't getting drunk on a live, I hear you say. Mm. Start saying, do you want us to go live tomorrow night with full faces and makeup? I was like, I'm, I did it last year. That was enough. I said, I'm going to do the makeup tonight on herself. I'll just sit here and wear a mask for half an hour. <laughs> just chill. But I hope if you've done it for Halloween, you've had a good time. Yes. Even if you're adults and having fun, I hope you had a blast. I think and adults can... enjoy it more these days than the kids do. Mm. In terms of Halloween parties and stuff like that, fancy dress parties, there seems to be way more adult stuff going on than the kids. Well, let's face it, everybody loves a party, and isn't it just a damn good excuse? Mm. We were just saying before we come on, um, did the video, he's now, I'll tell you the time, it's half past five, and now the cl clocks go back tomorrow, today. But doesn't it seem weird, like Lisa, like, look, that's our windows here, by the way, on the left. Seems a lot lighter at different times, doesn't it? Like some times of the day. Mm. Yesterday was really dark at this time, and now it's lighter. I went out yesterday morning about eight o'clock. It was about eight o'clock. I was out walking the dog. It was so dark, mm. like it was like the middle of the night. I, was like, I love this. I love being out in the dark. Don't know what it is. I reckon I should have been like a like um, a hunter or something. I thought you were say a stalker then. I nearly did say a stalker. No, I should be like a hunter gatherer. He, like, mm. goes out in the middle of the night and kills, like, bears and stuff. Well, this time it's about half bear. four. So it'll be this colour at half past four. Oh, mind me, I'm losing an hour gaining it. Gaining? Oh, thank God for that. I've been struggling these last few months, just that last hour. I mean, they always say it works itself out. I don't think it has this year, because I've been knackered for the last six months. So I'll be glad to get an extra hour back. Hmm. But it'll be dark by... Half past five tomorrow, pitch black. Mm. So this time tomorrow, well, it's all to, it goes back to like the farming, doesn't it, and things like that. The whole clock's changing. Uh. One thing I love about our Chinese is the curry sauce. It's just amazing. But you know when you go to the chip shop and people want a pot of curry sauce, I'm not that fussed. No. But dipping your chips in curry sauce. Yeah, curry sauce is... Um... It's different to other places. We've had a few Chineses over the years. Well, quite a this few. This is the best. It's... Oh. We've had it here. We've had it in Wales, at different places in Wales. We've had... Um... 
Did you get one down in London? The Chinese? I'm sure you would have done. We went to Claire's. No, we didn't. <gasps> we've never had a London Chinese. Yeah, you did. At her mum's. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we've had it in London. Sorry, that's a lie. Um, the one at your mum's in Morecambe. I love that. But the curry, you will never get curry like this. You, just... But it is their preference, though, ain't it? Not everyone is going to like this curry. They might come in like, what the hell is that shit? Mm. They'd be like, Lee, aim. I'm going to sue you. However, <laughs> that is my go-to takeaway. And I've never, ever met a curry like that, ever. Oh, I've never actually met a curry, eh? Oh, I have. I've never been in the pub like, hey there, I'm Lee. Nice to meet you, I'm Chicken Curry. Never been in that position before. No, you know what I mean? I've never kind of found a place that does it like that. Love it. How many of you make cracker mountains? <laughs> Went out for a Chinese, like, we, oh, we never God. normally do. We never go out, like, for... When we go out for meals, it's Indian or Italian, whatever. Or English. Or English. Well, this last time went out for a Chinese. It was so... T- We've done it once before. In um, Spain. That was in Spain. That's somewhere else we had a Chinese. But this yeah. one we had uh, at this restaurant was so tasty, were not it? Amazing. Not as good as this curry, but really nice it's quality different, food. Different, like... Yeah. The one in Spain, not as all fancy. Cut out vegetables and everything is mm. all. Yeah, definitely a difference in Spain to around here. Because when you stepped out of the restaurant, it was bloody hot. It was great. It was like, wow, this is like, it's like to eat abroad. That was on our last night, that was. We was like, yeah, let's go for um, a Chinese. It was literally from around the corner as well, wasn't it? Which was handy. But we used to go for these um, German kebabs. Oh my God. <laughs> they were the best. And there were a few other places, like it, where we were staying in Spain, like these little cafe or restaurant, where the takeaway places that were doing these German kebabs. And late at night, like our hotels say here. That's the only there. problem, because we'd go out every night. Yeah. I remember there was good, but I can't quite remember it. They were the best time. But I what, bet the black thought was you really, was great, wasn't it? Oh, we told that story before. One of them was really hot, though. Uh, I was sitting there like, shit, it's a bit warm, this one, I'm. I don't know why, I can't remember what the difference was. We tried a different shop. I think there was like chilies in there and stuff. Oh, it was amazing. What is your go-to? Ta- We've asked this every time I have a takeaway, but different people watch, let different people answer. What's your go-to takeaway, guys? Got a couple of shout-outs as well. Yep, yeah, we have some. Um, it'd help if I had my phone. Is this it? Well, if it looks like mine. Can I take it off? Yeah. Mine's all plugged. She just dropped her phone. Um, yeah, we need to give a shout-out to... A couple, uh, one of our subscribers' children, her yeah. sons. So let me find the names because I was pissed last night when this come through, guys. I was like, ah. I did ask her to send us a comment because I'd forget it. She asked last night, she mentioned us, oh, we'll give him a shout out. It's like, please comment on the video, as I will not sorry remember. Sorry about the doing language this. as well. Oh, yeah, sorry about the language. Tell your little boys to shut their ears off. Shut their ears off. Uh, okay, so this is for, she said to call her Ash because she's Irish and I couldn't pronounce her first name. So Ash. Oh, I said Ash. Oh, Ash. Ash or Ash. McGee. McGee. So Mikey and I think it's Oisin. Hiya, honey. I think it's Oisin. How you doing, guys? Hope you're okay, lovely. Hope o- Owen. It's either Owen or Oisin. Because uh, there's different ways to pronounce things, isn't there, in, I- in exactly. Irish? Exactly. Uh, uh, let me know if I've got your names right, guys. Mikey and Oisin. Yes, yeah, so Ash come on last night on our live and said that. Um, I mean, apparently. I don't know how me and you help anyone, because all we do is sit here and eat food and talk crap. But people over the year, last couple of years, I've told us on direct message on Instagram and on hit our comments that our videos help them in some way. Not everyone, but sort of a few people have. And she said her sons are fussy eaters. They both have um, autism and they're fussy eaters. And she said our videos help them try new oh. foods. I was like, that's really good, because I didn't try new foods. So I was like, buddy 30, buddy 2 or something like that. So well done, guys. Oh. Hope you enjoy your dinners. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and also, go and check out a channel, please. Tell him that we sent you over. Yeah. Called the Hungry Ranger. Please go and do so, guys. He's got a mukbang channel, and he's based in the UK. And he's um, he's been in the army, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, I haven't had a chance to watch, watch his, many of his videos. Uh, we was only talking. And. He's there to help veterans and anybody really with like PTSD and anxieties and Seems like a lovely bloke. Yeah, so go over and tell him that we sent you over there, guys. He's a really like I said, he's called the Hungry Ranger. And he's got a little pug dog 
um, who's on these videos. Terry or Talby? Tommy, I think it was. So I'm funny. Sure it's Tommy. Uh, lovely little dog. Like we've got our Barney, our little co-presenter over there. He's absolutely knack. He's out for the count. Our Barney is at the minute. Yeah, really nice guy. Go and check him out, guys. Yeah, so. It's soon to be Christmas. I hate saying it because some people are a bit funny about it. But last year... She's started already, guys. It's not in bloody November. Last year, everybody put the decorations up a little bit earlier. Because of, obviously, it being really rubbish. Not everybody did, but some people did. Are we going to do the same this year? Just say no. In the comments, say no. Even if you are, if you like me at all, say no. Well, no, because if they like me, they'll say yes. Well, man. So I was up the loft before... And I suggested you stay up there. Who keeps their decorations and tree up the loft? If you have one, maybe you do. What the hell? I've got to pick up any rice. Maybe you do. We do. Um, and I was rooting for all the bags looking for some of I was sent up there to look for. That's the problem living with women. It was me and three women, apart from the dogs. It's just me, the only bloke here. Women have an issue with going up the loft. I don't want to go up there. Tia won't go up there. Ains one can't get up there. So it's just left to me every time. Lee go up the loft and find stuff. Well, ours isn't renovated because we rent. It's just all dusty and dark up there. We have got a light. There isn't a light. Not one that's connected anyway. Not since we lived there. Mm -hmm. Well, then do you want to point me in the right direction of it? It's to the back. There is a light. I never fell through the flipping ceiling before. Is that pretty dark? So I found all these decorations of ours. I was like, hmm, I could take them down now. But if I leave them up here, at least another week or two, we might get a bit of an extra couple of weeks of that and to put up the tree. I want them down next week because I want to sort them out. What is there to sort? Well, they might need a bit of a dusting because they've got a lot of sword, a lot of um, stuff on them. I thought it was packed away properly. Rim bags. It was a dusty loft, eh? What do you expect? There's seagulls and badgers and everything up there. <laughs> it's such a daft thing. I'm not joking. Do you, have any of you, what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in your garden? Blokes staring back into the house. Oh, yeah, we're at one time. I, well, you can tell them. I wasn't there. And I was living somewhere else, and this is broad daylight, remember? Well, not remember, but I'm telling you no. it's broad daylight. Not the mental now. And um, in our other house, we had like French doors, patio doors. Sitting there. This is the back room, so it led onto the garden. I look out the window, and when I tell you, this guy looked like bloody Jason Statham walking up the, my path. Nice as you like, like. Would you have had an issue if it was Jason Statham? I thought you were. Yeah. Liking. No, I don't like Jason Statham. Not being funny to him, but I'm not, he's not Mark Cup of Tea. Walking up the path, it wasn't running. I'm like, there's a guy walking up the path. Oh my jeez. Well, our lot was a bit funny, wasn't it, on that door? If you remember, yeah, it was which we can say next. We're not there anymore. There he was. Walking up, I thought he's gonna kill me. He's gonna get in the house. Next thing you know, when I tell you this dog jumped over the fence, and it were our dog. Either. It was a police dog with a policeman going, "Get in the house!" I was like, I was only by the door. I mean, like, move. No, that was actually after they'd gone. Get in the house. I went, "What's going on? Get in!" It was horrific. I found you at the front door. I was door. in the town. I just come out of Prime Arnie, picking up some boxes or whatever I had to get. I don't know what it was. She rings me oh, what's I ringing for now? It's to pick some up in the town, probably. Answer the phone. All right, I'm, as you do, because you just want to get things. You don't want a longer shopping list than you already have if you're a bloke. If you're a bloke, watch him. Do you like it when the missus give you a shopping list? It does make him. Your dad has it bad. Your mum, when your mum lived with your dad, these shopping lists that you'd get, and I'd go to the shops with me. what she gives to me every time we go out. Oh, yeah, big, long shopping list. She goes herself now, no, no. So, I'll get this phone call. All right, what's happening? There's a man in the garden and he's walked towards the doors. You see, it's not what as simple mean? as, well, why aren't you running out the house, Lane? You know them horror films where the girls will run upstairs. We had our dogs in mm. the house and it's like, okay, so they ain't going to be able to protect themselves. It's, this is down to me, this is. I'm the saviour of the day. And on top of that, there's no way, there's no side gate on the house. Literally, to get to the front of the house, you'd have to go through the house or through the garage. And the garage had access to the house. So oh into God. the neighbour's garden, I guess. But the cops got him. That's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, they got him. I don't know what he'd been doing. Oh. And he didn't seem that bothered about moving. 
obviously up to no good, but he's probably a good man now. He's probably just like, like a lollipop man. Working with kids. What? Yeah. Just because he's been arrested doesn't mean he can't work with kids, eh? I mean, he might have been uh, nicked off the police for stealing lollipops to give to the kids. He might just be a nice bloke. Talk about the police. There was a clip today sent on Instagram towards, not towards directly. There's a, I watch UFC and there's this man called The Beast. Well, that's his nickname. It's called Derek Lewis, yeah, based in America. That's a bit, hang on. Now you go from The Beast to Derek Lewis. Yeah, there's his nickname, like, you know, like the, there's the one, Jan Blachowicz. So he's like um, a Polish fighter and his nickname is The Polish Hammer. Well, that's what they call Derek Lewis, The Beast. Anyways, he sends these like funny clips of really bad things happening to people. Oh, is it that one you show me now? Yeah. He posts lots of funny stuff on his Instagram. And underneath, he just put, he's okay. And it's always after someone's really been hurt. So the other day, there was this man just in his garage. And he's, he had a camera in the garage just for security. And you could see this squirrel run out of the hedge. <laughs> that was funny. And attack the man. Like, the squirrel was a bloody <laughs> nutter. Really attacked him. And I was like, <laughs> Threw the squirrel off and the squirrel <laughs> ran away. What about that TikTok where there's a guy in the park or something and he's just this squirrel oh, won't get off his top? In England, a man was in the park with his missus. Oops, uh, I think he had a can of pop or something in his hand. And a squirrel just ran off his leg and just clung to his top. And he was a grown ass man, bigger than me, like more hench than me. He's like, Hilarious. His girlfriend was there. She was scared. He was, she was laughing her head off. He was like, Get this squirrel <laughs> off me. <laughs> I think I'd be the same. I would not be able to move. Like if Aim was stood in front of me, I'd like, Aim, get this. Because you don't want to talk too loud and scare the screw, but Aim, get the fucking screw off me now. This has been, we have had this circumstance before, but it wasn't a squirrel. It was a Rastafarian and an ex oh, cowboy yeah. in the town. Mm. When I say cowboy, this guy used to go around dressed as a cowboy. It's been in a previous video, but I'll tell you really, really quickly. Oh, yeah. So basically, it was in the town centre. And there's this Rastafarian with a with a toy around his head playing a harmonica, but he wasn't playing. He was just going, and he wasn't doing anything. But then there's this guy who used to dress up as a cowboy when I was a kid, chaps and everything, cowboy hat, leather jacket, the lot, and he'd walk around the town dressed and acted like a cowboy. He has reverted to back to the religious side now, and he pr he preaches he's like a preacher in the town, and um. So he's got his Bible out and he's like, you know, what did he say now? Something along the lines of... Both the time he's going to hell and all that stuff. You know, you've got to start being religious. And, he, and this, unfortunately for the Rasta man, he was a little bit... Obviously, there was something not quite right, bless With him. With either of them? Yeah. And, and anyway, back in the day, he walked up to my auntie, the cowboy did, he went, nice legs, shame about your face. <laughs> God... And anyway, oh, just, uh, so the raster was getting annoyed at him. So he'd get his harmonica in the cowboy's face and go, ah! really not. And the cowboy was just going, come on, you need to repent, repent. Anyway, he was getting vexed, wasn't he, mm. the, the raster? So he just attacks the man, doesn't he? He floors him, he gets his foot, puts the cowboy on the floor. The raster's behind him, he's got him in like a choke lock with his legs wrapped round the back of him. So the cowboy's in front of him here. He's like that with the cow... Lee, at the whole of the town centre, Main Street, he has to go and intervene. So he goes Turn over. Up break it up, come on now, stop, stop, stop. The raster stands up. The cowboy backs off, turns to Lee and starts doing all this karate move. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't was, get off the floor. I mean, I'd watched a lot of Bruce Lee movies when I was a kid, but I didn't know any karate myself or martial arts. He was there going, Wah! Yeah, and like kicking him. out. And he was just like, and he went, hey, I tried to help you. He's the boy was like six foot five or something like that. <coughs> he was a big guy. And, um, <coughs> so when he kicked out, like his foot was up at the top of my head. So I was staying well away from him. I was like, mate, it's him you wanted. If you're going to attack anyone, go after him. <coughs> Lee was trying to break it off. <laughs> But at this point, we was at the jacket potato stand, and what I'm trying to say was about the girl. Yeah, it's like she has nothing to do with squirrels. No, the girl who was laughing at the guy with yeah. the squirrel. If you could see this raster with his harmonica and, his, and then Lee, and me and the jacket potato woman, she was on the floor in the van. You know, like the potato van, you're having the. I couldn't move. I couldn't. I couldn't stop. It was. Couldn't so help me, could you? Oh, yeah. You could have tried to help me, I. 
If it had got serious, I would look at the size of that. If a Rastafarian lady started on you, I'd have settled it. I'd have told her, no, move away, bitch. No. So, if the screws, the woman said to the bloke with the screw and said, take your, jump, your hoodie off of your head, he's like, no way. There is a squirrel attached to my hoodie. If I pull it off on my head, the squirrel's going to be on my bloody so head. So he had his kind of pop there, and the squirrel was like, here. He didn't dare move his and arm. And he was like, I can't move. <laughs> it was bloody hilarious to watch. So anyway, the bloke... Uh, Have Derek, you guys like, ever been attacked by an animal? Not necessarily yeah, attacked in a bad way, but like... There's a good way of being attacked in a bad way. You know what I mean, like... <laughs> Well, it's not funny. My auntie had her fingers bitten off by a dog. Yeah, that's not good. I'm and the in. woman... So my auntie was canvass, canvassing, putting leaflets through the door for my cousin. And anyway, so... So, oh, that, not being rude. So that's the letterbox, and you put your fingers in, don't you, like that, to push the leaflet through. She put her finger through the letterbox, with the leaf, with a yeah. little pamphlet, or whatever it was. The dog just nipped off. Like these the fingers, mm, so like that. And the my, my, she ran up terrified, had to go to hospital, lab all sorts of do, things done. Some people may have said though that it's her own fault for putting things. Well, you're supposed to actually put use a pencil or something. That's what they say at the Royal Mail. But anyway, yeah, you know, whatever. But you'd have thought the woman. I mean, my auntie was screaming and crying out the front. You'd normal people would have gone out and helped well, him. Like, oh my god. My cousin went round and knocked on the door after to be like, what the hell are you black? She'd only threw the tips of her fingers on the front path. She threw her tips of my auntie's fingers on the front path. That's pretty fucking... That's like... That's rough, that is. She did. Sorry for my language, guys. Um, I do think there's younger viewers on here. That is pretty brutal. Very well. So... And you're laughing. Yeah, I think it's quite funny because I know she's all right. If she, yeah, she is. She's fine. If she did have no fingers left, I'd feel bad. But she's got she does. the end. Like yeah. they've, they've done it, so she's basically got a tiny little bit of nail. They sort of curve it, over, don't they? Um. Anyway, I was getting to the point of the bloke, the UFC bloke who posts this stuff. So he did the one with the screw attacking the man in his garage in America. And the other day, he, put, he didn't really post stuff from the UK. We did the other day, and there was um some lads had pulled up behind a police car. There was like two or three police cars and police officers and they'd been chasing another car and the car had pulled up and five lads had got out, I don't know if they were young or old, with balaclavas on and run off these lads had. So the police are sort of there at the car, at the scene. And there's a female police officer uh, stood behind her car, behind the police car, and these lads are filming like, oh my God, look what's happening. You know, the police are chasing these lads and these lads have run off and they get it all on the camera. They couldn't have been filming at a better time. Not no. for the lady, though, Christ. So, there's the lady. Stood in front of... Well, that's the car. All right. That's the lady. Police officer lady. Another police car. This is a rib. There's the car. Comes... Oh, yes, they do. I mean, I had a good body 30, 40 gap to stop. Straight into the lady. Oh, my God. Crushed her against the car. Did. No, it's like crushed her legs, probably a broken leg or something of it. There was one that you shoved me in, <clears throat> and there was this guy, and he was about to cross the road, walked out, he missed one, didn't he? No, oh, Remember, and, he, and he, he ran over him, he, he went back. Oh, because, right, yeah. He stepped back because he was nearly getting run over. This van, yeah. or lorry, I'm sure it was like a miniature lorry, you know, the small ones. Yeah, he got pretty roughed up, he did. He ran over him, over his chest, reversed. Back over him. Did you go over his head? You got over yeah, like, well, here, sort of thing. And he was like, the guy just got, gets on the wall, like, what are you doing? Mind you, I got run over once. Hey, you had your, the tip of your foot, or your, <laughs> that the, the top enough. of your foot driven on. You did not have I did, your head driven on. No, I didn't say my head, but I did get run over, technically. Anyway, I'll tell you what happened. So I was meeting Lee's friend. <clears throat> And uh, we went, I dressed all up, I looked good and everything. Not being vain, but you know, make an effort. Whatever. Step out the taxi, <coughs> and I'm walking in the road, <coughs> off we go. <laughs> and then my foot's there, and the taxi goes, woo! Oh, God! <coughs> that was horrific. It was pain. You're not meant to leave your foot in the way of a taxi when you get out. It was him, Lee. Um, all he did was drive off. 
He ran over my foot. Why would he ex- think, oh, that lassie's just been in the back of my car. She's now put her foot underneath the wheel. I'm going to drive off. He didn't well, know. why I'm... did he go? I hadn't shut the door. <laughs> he probably had another fair to go to. He knew I was standing there. Yeah, he did it on purpose because you annoyed him. You see, right, pain in the arse. We'd go out on nights out, guys, and get a taxi back as you do, unless you live local and maybe you'll walk home. I would walk, get in no, the... to me, it was a right pain in the arse. You was to drivers then, to taxi drivers, and I know this, because my dad was a taxi driver for a lot of years, and I could only imagine how annoyed he'd have been if he'd picked you up on a night out, if he didn't Why? know you. We'd get in the taxi, I and mean, this was every single night we had out on the town, uh, with people just on our own, to get in the taxi, off her head, as you are at the end of the night, like I was. Says the driver might be sitting there quietly, not wanting any music on. It's like two, three, four in the morning. Lee. Can you turn the music up, mate? So you got any me. tunes? <laughs> turn it up. It's too quiet back here. And by the time you knew, the bloke's gone from listening to Dolly Parton to listening to bloody whatever Anne likes. Do you know how many people do that? Loads. No, only rude people do no, that. No, they don't. Would you get... In a random person's car, if they picked you up outside... But they're a taxi driver, Lee. And, and 90% of so when me and my mate used to go... They're not offering you bloody music, can They're offering you a lift. They don't mind now, none of them. <laughs> they're too scared to say no to you. You'd be a moody taxi driver. No, I would. I'd do really. Tell you what is bad. Why? There is a taxi driver around here. Obviously, we can't... Say what he looks like, but let me just tell you now, he ain't had a wash in years. Mm. Yeah, and you get, in, you get in his car, yeah. I smell. He smells really bad, unfortunately, guys. Uh, I mean, if you work in that kind of environment, just... It's not as if he's homeless, or you ain't got a job. No, he, he stinks of fags, but then on top of that, you, you can just smell like body odour. It's bad. And you, there, I had to, and we were in the bloody snow one time. We went out, it was snowing. I had to open the bloody windows. I had to open the windows. I don't care if we get into like, snow and by the time we get there. God, oh, mate. That was a weird one. I mean, I say it's normal, that is. So Ames booked in to get, we're going away, away. We're going out on Saturday to the races for like a night, a firework evening with some friends and whatnot. Yeah, any of you guys from Wolverhampton going to see the fireworks? You'll see us there. Oh, fireworks wherever you're from. We won't be your one, but I'm sure you'll have a firework display. Well, Local. then it really doesn't count, does it? <laughs> well, no, we did the one with the bloody squirrel and the flipping raster. No, I'm saying, like, if you see us there, come say, but you're there, like, all right, your one. Well, yeah. we won't be there. Just stick us on your phone, say, look, <coughs> clear your name, it's me and whoever you are. Patrick, whoever. Mm-hmm. So. And Squidward. Yeah. SpongeBob. Anyway. So we're going there, and I ain't wanted uh, was getting her hair done like before Christmas, and I said I ain't want to get it done this week, so it's done for the going on this day out or night out. I said okay, rings up. Now if I want my hair done, I, I, mean, I haven't had to make an appointment for my hair for years. I just sort of turn well, up. Come to done. me. You, I make your appointment. <laughs> yeah, you do my hair, own, But before that, I used to get it done at hairdressers. You'd walk in as a bloke usually. The ones oh, I got oh. to anyway. And I rings up, and uh, I'm here in the room. It's like. Can I have your date of birth, please? Oh, the fuck, you need your date of birth to cut your... It wasn't even a haircut, it's just like a sample test run or something mm-hmm. or other. Consultation. Yeah, but... Can then, I have your postcode, your address? If you have some sort of reaction or whatever, they have to have your stuff logged in. Well, what's going to do? Come round and get like, replace your hair? Going to come to the house and sort it? Some I think she wants to be you, I'm She just wants to like, get all your details and pretend that she's you for a bit. Some salons do that. Anyway, next week my hair will be changed. Yeah, when you next see us. No, actually, unless you get it done this week, but you're not, are you? I am. How are you? Because if I can't get in that one, I'll go to another one. All right. Well, yeah. Well, when you might see it changed by the next year. It might be the one after. Yeah, I'm still not a big fan of Chinese. <gasps> we got this because I'm really what the Chinese. And we're so I've been like, eating really, really healthy, and I was like, right... I'm going to have a treat. I'm going to have a Chinese because I'm not going to have another one of these now till Christmas. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Thank God for that. I'm not. It's all right. It doesn't taste bad. It's just... That's so good. I've had too many of these. I wonder if they make it from scratch. Mm. Or, excuse me, or whether they buy it. Just like a dustbin full. And just yeah. pour it in. Like, you know, get it in... Um, what do you call it? 
Like large quantities. Bulk. In bulk. Off like a dodgy van from Poland. And you know this? Yeah. Oh. We don't actually come from China, you know. I know it's Chinese, but none of this food was made in China. Shut up, Lee. But it wasn't, eh? You don't think it was, do you? No, this food is just frozen, bloody factory made stuff. No, it's not. They cook it down there. Yeah, but they don't go down there and make fresh batter for the chicken balls. They How do you know? They don't have the time, I'm. Good all down the road there, the other one that we don't use that one, but you walked past there today and said, oh, you can smell it now. You're cooking? Not, I feel like not doing baking. that thing that the rock used to say. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yeah, it was shit. I don't remember him saying it like that, though. Yeah, he used to go, la, 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 la. Oh, no, don't do that. All right. Mouth. <laughs> the cheek of it. Last thing. Yeah. You know, before you said we've had Chineses across the country. Chineses, yeah. Is this still your favourite place? It's the best one I've had. I did like the one up the town, though, at the restaurant. That was really mm. tasty. But it doesn't really compare to, like, a takeaway, even though it is a takeaway. I wouldn't choose to have Chinese. Like, if I went... Was uh, on holiday somewhere or whatever. I don't really get Chinese. I normally get something else usually. Kebab. Yeah, I like a good kebab. We tried veal for the first time, didn't we? Yeah, but that's a not veal... really a takeaway, though. No, is it? a veal steak. It kind of psychologically put me off. That was amazing. The veal was I. It was it's so quite tasty. Thin, though, wasn't it? it was lovely. Not true at all. Whew. Before my aim, I didn't really. Eat... I ate a bit of kebabs, not a lot. I had the odd one or two. Um, yeah. Occasional. Like Donna kebab or just like chicken? No, like none of them. I didn't actually have a kebab. I don't think before I met <laughs> what you. What the hell? I don't think I've ever had a kebab before I met you. Uh, Chinese, nope. Indian, nope. Um, I don't even really eat much takeaway. I just used to get chips. You um, didn't, didn't have pizza? Chicken and chips, that was about it. Burger? Yeah, but I was a massive burger fan. Chicken burgers, yeah. I like burgers now. They're quite tasty. As long as they're not burnt. Yeah, Lee used to have not me when he we where was it from? Nice and spicy. Oh, I don't put it. Yeah, nice and spicy. So on a it was usually a Saturday night, wasn't he? So like Lee's mum would cook for me on a Friday. She'd test their all her recipes on me, but on the Saturday we'd have a takeaway from this place called Nice and Spicy, and that's that's why we always used to get it from this one place because Lee had only ever had, eat it from there. So we'd always have to have either two separate ones when me and his mum wanted a Chinese, or from there. But the, the delivery was ridiculous in terms of time where I had to get from. So I'd get my motorbike in all weathers. I'd just get absolutely pissed to it through. And not when I met him, this was before that. And pick it up from there. And then I, I didn't have a motorbike when I met you, did No, you that was fell off I, it by then. Yeah, I nearly died before then. No, um, then it was just me and mum getting food. But he used to have, I think it went like this from my memory serves me correctly. So we'd have like chicken tikka pieces, like, you know, on the skewers. Mm. But there was, oh, so the chicken tikka pieces. Naan bread, oh, yeah. pop a dom on the top of the naan bread, broke no, and then he'd put the chicken on, and then he'd wrap it up like that. And chips. In and there. chips, yeah. yeah. So it's and like, this was like every week. So it's like a naan, chicken, pop a dom, naan, no, not even two naans. No sauces. No, naan, chicken, chips, and pop a dom wrap. But now Lee loves sweet and sour sauce, like, oh, chilli sauce. Yeah, I do. This is Lee's, apart from ketchup, we don't have ketchup, but. mango and chutney. Oh, that's Manager, tasty. Yeah. But like, you like that sort of thing, don't you? Yeah. It, I can't imagine how dry it was. It was all right, though. I it's like the rat. dryness. I like wash it down with a But nice now Lee drink. will have a curry, won't you? And chicken yeah, tikka like, tikka occasionally. Masala. If any of you work in water walkers, uh, like the factory where they make the crisps. I didn't know that was based in Scotland, you know. I don't know. I'm sure there are lots of factories around the country, eh? But anyway, if you do work for walkers on the bugle belt, the belt that makes the bugle crisps, sneak a few bags and send them to us. I'll give you our address because I can't get any anyway. That's what we used to summon the barbecue or t whatever the hell flavour it is. Best ones. They are amazing. We have, you know Claire, our friend, well, she'd never try, no, but you've seen her obviously. She, she'd never try bugles, had she? Mm -mm. She will see, she will send me a picture now Every time she's in any kind of shop and she'll be like, hey, and there's a packet of bugles, she loves them, they are recommended by us. I had to get her like a few bugs to take home when she was down here one of the first <laughs> times. 
So yeah, Clay, you like how much? I've 10 packs and she took them out. Um, and, and since then, oh, yeah, let's get any. I'll regret giving her them because I can't get them myself now. <laughs> right, anyway, um, guys, we're off skis. So remember to be kind, remember to be nice, comment, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Check out our Instagram. Much is in the house. It is on private, so you'll have to request us. And all the details are in the description down below. Do answer the questions. And go and check out the Hungry Ranger and tell him we sent him your way. Laters. Bye, everyone.